Lord at the farmers market the other day, I realized that us and uh, the folks at Roots Farm are the youngest people there by a couple decades, and I feel like that's really exciting to see young people interested in farming. Uh, so I went into Farm 255 and I was talking with Olivia, who is one of the owners there, and a friend of mine. And I told her that I wanted to find some land to farm, and she said, well, there's a flyer up on the wall by the bathroom. Uh, this woman, Renee, wants somebody to farm her land. That was in, yeah, that was in November. I mean, I was way in over my head because I didn't know <clears throat> anything, really. I, I knew just so little about farming, uh, about growing anything. Uh, and, I mean, Lacey, like, from the first day that she came here, I, like, was just basically an idea machine. Her land sits on five acres, but um, we only have about half an acre under cultivation, which is an incredibly tiny farm. Some would say a large garden. Well, Maggie and I first met as roommates, and we got along really well immediately. Uh, we started drinking whiskey and painting our toenails, and um, and cracking jokes. Maggie's real funny. I don't know if you noticed. Just want someone to save me. Oh, 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 oh. I'll always be there when you are Farming has been a traditionally male dominated um, occupation. And I think that's starting to change. There's more faces, uh, more women's faces at the farmer's market, Maggie and I being two of those, and, and also the women who've come out here, we, we're all um, tomboyish and have mostly had all men as friends. And so for the first time in our lives, we're able to spend time with other women, and, and uh, that's been a really positive experience for all of us. Complete and utter failure is probably the primary fear. And uh, I mean, I, I personally, I've been living in Athens for 13 years and I know a lot of people and it seems, maybe it seems kind of ridiculous, it's probably tremendously egotistical, but um, I was really afraid of the embarrassment of failing. I don't think I think about things in terms of business. I mean, I, I don't know that I really even think about this as a business. Well, one, one of the reasons that I that I love farming and one of the things that I look for in my life, like in terms of satisfaction, is community. I, I, the community around farming, I think, is just very, uh, I feel really at home, I guess. 